It's going to be another exciting day. In fact, it will be a, an exciting few days. I've been experimenting with uh, different uh, winter shelters this year, and uh, I got it in my head this morning. I think I'm going to attempt an ice house. Yep. I have done igloos and that kind of thing, but, but it's the right time to do it. There's lots of snow on the ground now, and it's really, really cold. Like minus 30 degrees Celsius and minus 46 with the wind. So I've designated this area right here. It's my cabin. I can work on it during the day or even the evenings if I got a headlamp. So my plan is to shovel a massive amount of snow here, build it up and let it sit for a couple days. Because when you let snow sit for even a couple of hours, it starts to firm up. But after a couple days, it should be just right to dig it out and form things like you want. And I figure I live in Canada, so I'm going to shovel snow all the time anyway. So why don't I just go crazy and give myself a ton more of snow shoveling. Here we go. I got a feeling I'm going to have to take frequent breaks. <clears throat> going to be a lot of snow. Probably 8 feet tall. 10, 12 feet wide, and another eight feet or so deep. Oh yeah, I forgot. I own the chuck wagon. Well, it's getting there. I think I've almost reached the limit to my uh, loader bucket there. I'd like to have another foot or so higher. Maybe I can sneak that on top, but it's going pretty good. Uh, that's 30 or 40 loads of snow there, but I still got lots of snow to choose from. I'll keep going. I'd like for it to be about eight feet tall because I want to be able to walk inside at six feet, seven feet, something like that. So at least seven feet i think that's about seven feet there now so either way we should be good i hope my kids don't see that little dance clip they will certainly disown me oh boy i'll tell you what boys this uh takes a lot of snow just look how much snow I've chewed up here. Clean up all these areas here. Took all the snow that was here, over here. Now I'm working my way all the way back there. But luckily we're in Labrador, and this area I'm in here gets an average of 14 feet of snow each winter. So it's not like it's in short supply or anything. Well, that's it for today. That's enough snow piled. I haven't even got my plan made it 100%. I think I'll go into cabin, have some supper, and let this settle for a day or so 
and then I'll come back and pick at it and start shaping it up. So it's two days later, first thing in the morning. I should have jumped upon that snow pile the other day just to show you how soft the snow is compared to what I assume it will be this morning. That's not a bad size, but I might put a little bit more snow onto it. We'll see now and do some measurements. That's a pretty decent pile of snow there. I would like for it to be a touch higher. So I think I'll uh, start up the old snow blower on the back of the tractor there and maybe try and blow some snow around the top. Well, that worked out nicely. Another day or so of cold temps and we'll start shaping her up. That's the exciting part. Who wants to go outdoors? Well, it's not the best day for filming. We got some snow flurries, a bit of wind on the go today. I wasn't gonna bother with the uh, ice house at all for shaping it. But I look at the forecast and it's supposed to be minus 36 degrees Celsius, minus 49 with the wind. So vehicles don't wanna start in those temperatures, including a tractor. And if you've never experienced minus 49, it is cold death, otherwise known as cold. spoiled <laughs> okay this is the face of it i can't go back too far because i'll take away from my depth then right so i'm just going to try and square this one off as much as possible now with my shovel or i'm not sure what i'll use to be honest with you maybe even chainsaw for some reason aspen thinks shoveling snow is a game now i am not an artist at all and I've never really done much snow carving, so so we'll have the air on the side of the lock and see how all this turns out, shape-wise. You're such a weirdo. I gotta try this before I chop off this last side. Well, I feel 10 years old again. Well guys, there she is. Not exactly proportionate, but I didn't want to go in too far on this side. I just want to see, you might put a little cubby hole or something inside there, so I can always chop it off afterwards. I think I'll start my door right here. Well, now that the shaping is all done outside, I guess there's nothing left to do, only dig in. <laughs> Dead joke. Now I have no proper tools or anything. Got this saw here, it kind of looks like something that would shape out snow. It work pretty good. Patting this thing. I can see this is going to be fun. And I guess the pole is going to cut out chunks now, wouldn't it? I guess it has to start from the bottom. And then the other ones should kind of fall down, I think. Like a big ice cube. Oh, I'm pretty excited about this, can't tell. 
It's actually a bit easier to shape than what I thought. I mean, I think you could uh, be pretty, pretty detailed with it if you wanted to be, you know? So I'm thinking I'll just keep on digging backwards and then dig off to the sides afterwards. And all this snow I got here, I'm lucky to have the snow blower, so I can just take it and blow it off to the side afterwards. I live a charmed life, people. I'm getting really brave now and taking out bigger chunks. Calm down, Porter. I'd say that's about 25 pounds there. Actually, that's about 150. No problem for me though. Well, I'm probably in about four feet now. It is a little unnerving. But having said that, the walls are really, really strong. Like solid, solid. Oh man, the sound is all absorbed by the snow. It's really freaky, it's like you're inside of a vacuum. Although I've never been inside of a vacuum, I must admit. Well, it's about an hour's worth of digging there. I'm estimating I'm in about uh, eight feet or so, which is what I want to be, eight or nine feet in. Because of course you want your walls, I don't know, maybe a foot thick, 10 inches thick, whatever you can spare. So you gotta go back from there. I'd like to have about six to eight feet of depth and I can go both ways then as far as I want. I should have flew up uh, my sister Paula and Sharon White. They love getting in places like this. <laughs> Absolutely not. But I'm not real sure how much further I'm going to go today. My face is starting to freeze up. I can feel that cold front coming in. And as far as this is, I'm not going at it at minus 49. I'll wait for a couple days for it to warm up. And I have noticed in the center the snow is a bit softer. So those cold temperatures will actually help increase the inner core strength of the house. Cold temperatures certainly made the snow nice and firm. Now it's starting to creep back this way. I gotta put a marker or something in here to see where I should stop. So I just got this old metal rod. So I'm gonna pop that right in here now. That way I'm bound to strike that when I get out of the cold. Okay. I just noticed that I came too close to the top there, but that's not bad. I can go all the way to that and go straight down. I was thinking that's about right there anyway, so that's it. That's mission accomplished anyway. I should strike that rod when I come down the wall for now. Yeah, that's it right there, so that's good. I stopped that wall right there. After taking all that snow out for that section of wall. A lot to show. It's at this point I say to myself, Self, why do you do this stuff anyway? Well, we're about half done now. Got all that side done over there. And uh, I think before I go any further, I'm going to cut down this roof a bit. I know it looks nicer like that, but it just seems like there's a lot of snow up there, right? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Just start to freak me out a little bit so I'd rather just have that foot there that way you could always break through it if I have a cave in or something but if that comes in in one clump it's a lot of weight you know if you're happen to be right in the middle What? Nice little haircut. Might not look the best, but I can pretty it up after. Shape it and put things on top if I want. It never ceases to amaze me, the power and snow. Unreal. I'd say you run the tractor around top of that now if you wanted to. I'm not going to try it, but... Anyway, that's a lot of snow today. A four hour streak. 
shovel and then all that stuff so the sun is just going down go back in the nice warm log cabin and come back out again tomorrow see you then Boiling hot water. Okay. Dad's girls doing. Oh, I'm so tired of shoveling. Will this ever end? I got a fitness test in a couple of weeks for work. It's pretty demanding. I'm hoping this is going to help me pass. Time to get the tractor again. Now, if I can only figure out some way to get the tractor inside, it'd make it a lot easier, wouldn't it? I've been shoveling all day. I didn't film much because it was just more of the same all day. But I finally got the entire shell done inside. And it's looking good. Really good. That's actually a support beam and a bedroom back there. Lots of room back here back out here again and there's the door i can stand up in here i'm six feet tall and got a pair of boots on it's nice and high but i don't want to go too high because when i put the heat in here i want to keep that uh, heat down low you know but anyway i'm really tired the sun got about an hour left before it sets but stay tuned to the morrow when I get the door and the windows and stuff put in and the other things, it's going to look spectacular. This is just an old Tupperware container that I had lying around. It's transparent. I'll use it for my windows. Insulate this door a little bit. So satisfying to curve. My goodness, that's the easiest window I ever put in my life. paint is not quite dry in the door up there yet so I'm gonna work on my heat source now. So this is called a diesel air heater and I ordered one of these. I did a video on it a while back. I got them from a company called Vivor and in fact you'll see these in a couple of my videos. It's one of those things you use especially in cold climates like ours and I can't say enough good stuff about it. It is incredible how it heats things up and as a pure heat it hardly burns any fuel it stays going for 10, 12 hours at a time. It exhausts outside so there's zero fumes. I like my first one so much, I ordered the second one. My other one I've used to heat my generator shed, my fishing tent, heat up my tractors, my snowmobiles, even my garage up there. So I'm gonna put one on this side of the ice house 
If this ain't enough, I'll put one on the other side where the bedroom is. I probably will put the second one over there anyway. I got so many views in my other videos, I reached out to Vivor and asked them if they'd give me a code to offer you guys. And they did, and that code will be on your screen as well as in the video description. So let's fire it up, get that door in, and get some heat going. So that's the air intake, that's the exhaust, and that's where the heat is going to be pumped into the ice house there. And I think I'll put the heat in right in under this window here, because I'll probably put a table in there afterwards. These heaters come with a remote start and a Bluetooth app. I turn on the heater to my generator shed while I'm inside the cabin drinking my coffee. Time to turn on our heater. Hooks up to a car battery, already 12 volt battery. Start heating. So right now it's about minus 15 degrees Celsius outside. Let's see how she warms up inside. Oh yeah, lots of heat coming in there now. Now usually the next question I get is, oh, why don't this all melt around you? Well, no, it's not like that. It just, uh, it may cast over with ice, but it's not just going to disintegrate and fall down in an hour. I haven't said that now. I'm not going to put it up like 40 degrees or anything like that. I can see the hand going up already. It's minus 9 in here. That's about 6 degrees different than outside already. So as I mentioned, that's one heat source. I can put another one back here. And that's where I'm going to be sleeping back there. So most likely that will be the most comfortable place to have it. Right up underneath your bunk type thing, you know? But I got some seriously incredible plans coming up for this place. That'll be the next video. And I got something on the way in the mail. And I'm just so excited about getting it. And I want to tell you what it is, but I'm not going to. It's going to give this place the richest ambiance and heat that you could ever imagine. So you can try to guess. And when this kind of melts a little more, I'm going to put some welding blanket or cloth around it. That'll absorb the heat. And it won't melt any further around the holes there. And it even has a rooftop deck. So you can sit in your chair and watch the sunset. <laughs> that looks pretty sharp, I think. What do you think? Starting to look like a home now. And by the time it took me to hang them pictures, it's gone up to zero degrees already. Man, oh man. She's getting warm right now. I've had some ptarmigan marinating in sauce all day. Like red wine, Worcester sauce, soy sauce, Montreal steak spice. I'm telling you guys, when you start pick up a little project like this in the winter time and just do it, people talk about this kind of stuff all the time, but they never ever do it. And lately, I've been kind of setting goals like that, and I've been doing it rather than just talk about it. This was really really hard. It took a lot of work. Hard work is good for you too, you know. So I'm really glad I did it. And now I can just expand. I can put another piece on this if I wanted to. Now I'm gonna spend some nights in here. I'm gonna make some nice little cubby holes here and there. And I might get all crazy and put a wood stove in here. Imagine that. Here's my bunk while I was waiting there earlier. I went and put the extra heater right there. So when you're lying in the bunk, you got the heat come right up and under your bunk like that. I could even put like a blanket or something over there and kind of keep all the heat in that one section throughout the night. I don't know, we'll see. Got about, about four degrees above now. Whew. Soon time to open up a window. Some color in here. 
more deliciousness. I think Mel's on her way pretty soon. Five degrees above. Man, that's nice. I wonder how warm those real ice hotels are. Anybody know? <laughs> I was going to make you knock. <laughs> So the fam jam is here. Everybody's waiting for supper. <laughs> Last ingredient. Our ptarmigan stir fry. All right, my dear, supper is served. Well, guys, we're gonna have this nice, wonderful supper here now in this brand new ice house. So glad you guys joined us on this video. Stay tuned to the next video when I'll actually be spending the night here. And until the next video, take care of each other, get inside, and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time. Guaranteed. <laughs> Cheers. We even had room for visitors. We'll see you next time, guaranteed. <laughs> you say it really loud for Pop. See you next time, guaranteed. <laughs> Good job. I want to say house house. 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 house, right? House, house. That's the new from that under me. Get outside.